Bronwyn Scott Woods from the Progen team with your weekly updates. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. A little bit late on my part, I know. Uh, last weekend's open homes were particularly quiet and I suspect Mother's Day and the gorgeous weather that we had for the last few days was very much part of it. In terms of listing numbers, we're down from oh, down to 80 in Titirangi and 9 in Langheim, so quite significantly lower in Langheim. Uh, things to note when looking at the property market, a recent One Roof article mentioned bad debt, which is in the light of the debt to income ratio restrictions that restrict homeowners from borrowing or from having debt of more than four and a half to five times their earnings. People often don't realise that any debt incurred will be factored into this equation. So while ASB offered 1% interest rates for things like solar panels and electric cars, etc., these things will also be seen as debt when a person applies for a home loan. A seemingly small car loan can impact your ability to borrow quite significantly, uh, which is catching homeowners who are applying for mortgages out, especially when they're going to upsize, even if they've got a really good uh, income. Another thing to note is that first home buyers are, who make up the majority of the buyers at the moment or the majority we're working with at the moment could be in for some competition with investors uh, when the new rules come into play on the 1st of July 2024. This includes three important changes as I've mentioned previously. One, interest deductibility back to 80%. Two, deposit requirements for second properties have dropped from 40% to 35% to 30%. And three, the two year bright, bright line is down now from 10 year bright line. On that note, I learned something new this week. <laughs> I've assumed that we would have already seen an influx of listings come to the market due to uh, mortgage stress and the expectation that the bright line is coming down as mum and dad investors sell properties they bought over the past few years using equity in their current homes. But this might not have happened yet. Anything with a contract dated prior to the 1st of July 2024 will still require the homeowner to pay capital gains tax, even if it settles after the 1st of July. So there might be more listings coming to the market after this date. But again, with the lower prices, higher rentals and shorter bright line, those home buyers um, waiting to, you know, the first home buyers waiting for things to get worse could be disappointed as they face more competition from investors. Speaking of investment opportunities, if you haven't seen 10 Victory Road Lang Home, definitely worth looking at. This is an exceptional six bedroom home and in income with a combined rental income of $1,350 a week. This is exceptional value. Such an awesome house too. It's got so much potential, amazing views as well. 28 Langhome Drive is another investment of opportunity, whether you hold it, uh, live in it for the four years that the resource consent is still available, or you build the four, uh, the four bedroom house that's been resource consented. 146 Woodlands Park Road had a great open home last weekend. We actually had eight groups through, even though everything else was quite quiet. It was a new listing. It's a perfect starter. Um, and most of the buyers that were viewing it were young families or professional couples. 354 Huia Road, just wanted to mention that property again, a great three bedroom, two bathroom house, another good investment opportunity if you want a really good uh, school zone, so good tenants. 639 Huia Road, 180 square meters of floor area, great private home. Um, it's close to good beaches and uh, just a really good property to have a look at. So that's it for me for this week and uh, see you again.